Todd Butterfield, WyckoffSMI.com. Want to do a video on our Wyckoff Wave sectors. Make sure everyone understands why we did that and how they're going to be much more useful than uh, some of these ETFs we feel. So in front of us, we have the Wyckoff Wave. I think subscribers know that that's 12 stocks. We are monitoring all 12 stocks, price and volume, five minute intervals throughout the day and constructing the index and the OP force and technometer and it's weighted. We've done the same thing with our sectors. So if you go to WWO, for example, Wyckoff Wave Oil, this is made up of uh, five, six, of nine stocks. We've got Exxon, Chevron, Schlumberger, Conoco, Anadarko, etc. So we have monitored those stocks, five minute intervals, price and volume to come up with the price chart, the Wyckoff OP force and technometer. We think this is much more helpful than let's say following XLE. XLE is a derivative on the oil. So uh, if you're monitoring the volume here, you're monitoring who is trading actually the the uh, derivative, which we don't think gives you what the composite man or these mutual funds, hedge funds, who's building accumulating positions or distributing stock. So again, we think you want to follow the sectors and give a little more weighting in your trading, or at least be able to follow the sectors and the actual ETF or a stock like ExxonMobil. So Currently, I'm bringing up just an Exxon Mobil chart. And then at the top navigation where you put in the symbol, you could just type in oil, and this will give you everything associated with the oil. So we've got the Wyckoff Wave Oil at the top. We've got some indices. We've got some ETFs. We've got the current aggressive, uh, or the current most traded futures contract. The last one, soybean oil, which would not have anything to do with the example we're giving here. But a quick way to bring up different positions and sectors in the oil market before you look at different things. But we really think, as we said, we think you want to go and and work with our Wyckoff Wave sectors. We have the symbol list under the charting members. You'll see a tab for symbols. And also you can break it down to get the current holdings in all the uh, sectors. So now we're back to the Wyckoff Wave. We went over this with another video, but if you go to the top right navigation bar, You'll see compare sectors. If you click that, the dark lines of Wyckoff Wave, then the computer is going to fill in the other sectors that you see listed at the top left. It'll take a few seconds to do this because it's computing thousands of computations to come up with this chart. And it's a three month chart by default, but then you can change the time frame to longer term if you choose to. So, here in just a couple seconds, you'll see the final comparison chart. And then over to the right, you can see 18.59 plus is a Wyckoff Wave Metals. So if you don't want that to be a part of this or you want to delete it, you can go over here to the Wyckoff Wave Metals and delete it. Please, if you have any questions on the charting service or any aspect of it, please email or call us because we want to make sure you're getting full use of the charting software. Thank you.